Hiya, it's Maggie, Min in the Minx UK on, at YouTube and the captain. Um, this is the third time I've tried to video this. <laughs> Someone uh, pressed my doorbell, then um, my little vid cam conked out, batteries dried up, um, ran out. So hopefully third time lucky. Basically what I'm going to show you is pockets that I've made for um, a mini album. Um, attached to a folder and what I'd used was the 12 by 12 pockets pa slash pages and I followed um, Elsa at just a few designs on YouTube and um, also she's actually really brilliant and um, all her videos are brilliant for various different things they're very concise and clear and easy to follow also um, Kathy Orta and Cassie Keith um, there's lots and lots of other people to YouTube videos that are brilliant but these three people I think are really good and on this specific one it's Elsa at just a few designs um, who I'd like to say really thank you to because I sort of base mine on hers and um, so I'm going to just quickly show you it. So um, before we start I'll quickly show you this. Um, these are the pages and these pages with the I would be using the hidden hinge system. Um, you don't need to use that. You could actually um, put holes down here with a punch and either attach um, funky fibres and ribbon etc and interlink them all together through there and you could have it that way opening it. Um, or if you've got one of those machines you could put a binder in it. Um, it's like ring, a ring binder type in there but I don't have that. And um, I'm going to use the hidden hinge system. And there are lots of people again that do the hidden hinge system. And um, it's valleys and mountains. And if you watch any of the YouTube videos, you'll understand what that is. So I would check it out. It's actually pretty good. Um, to make the folder for these, um, you could actually use two bits of cardboard, card, thick card, um, place them down like that. And you need a middle bit, a third bit. Make sure they're all the same size. So. You would, your pockets um, and folders, these things here, you would measure out and see what size you needed. And when you go to do the outside part of it, um, of the book or folder, um, you would do it slightly bigger. That allows you to have tags, etc., in case they are bigger than the actual pockets. Like, for instance, on here, these are pull out tags on mine and they're actually bigger than that. So, um, and then you'd have a third piece in the middle for your hinge, uh, for your, where your hinge would go, so it's the spine of your book. You need it all the same size. You would cover that up with paper and on the outside. And any of the corner bits here, um, you would then add a separate piece of paper over the front and that would cover up any bulky bits that you've got. Also, if you were tying the book with ribbon, um, so if you could just imagine that was the outside and inside of the book and you were tying it there, for a ribbon to open and close it. Um, on this this part, um, once you've covered the outside with paper, you could add your bit ribbon there and on the other side and then stick your pattern paper or fancy paper over the top of it and all you would see was the bit ribbon coming out either side. So it would be hid this part would be hidden, so it's quite nice as well. But if you didn't want to do it like that, um, another alternative that I saw on YouTube in the crafting videos is people have used cereal boxes and or sweetie boxes and um, if you find um, the cereal box has already got a shape so is this this is a matchmaker box um, the outer bit of it and if you see it's actually got already got the shape of a folder or a book now if you think that this is too flimsy you could actually use two of these and um, glue them together like over the top each and it would become quite hard and that would save you having to do the spine area because um, I found um, with a previous one that when I did a folder, this spine area um, actually came loose and um, my hidden hinge that was attached to the inside of that, if you think of it like that, um, all came off. And I wasn't too sure if it was the glue or the score tapes that I used or if it was just that my pages like that were too heavy and too thick for the inside of it. And it, it ripped off and it came away, if you could imagine that. So... Um, and I normally use um, 
well it's quite strong score tape the orange one or the white one in that and so i've got to assume it was maybe my page is too heavy but anyway that's an idea that you could use because that's already in place and it you just decorate it with paper do your hidden hinge system in the inside and then add your pages so or your pockets so i'm going to quickly show you the pockets and each of these pockets was did by using 12 by 12 paper um to make a pocket or a page and most of it, um, most people use double sided paper, 12 by 12 sheets of paper, but I didn't use that. I used just one side was a pattern and um, the other side was plain. And so what I ended up doing was every time I made a pocket or a page, I had to then, the opposite part of it that didn't have the pattern on it, I had to cut out the sides of that paper and glue it on. So probably the next time I do it, I'll make sure it's patterned paper because it would save quite a lot of time. Um, each one of these as well has been um, inked. Most people like to distress round the edges and any tags that they make um, would use distressed ink of whatever colour they wanted and all you're doing is, um, let's say for that, you're distressing round the edges like that. But I have used distressed ink before but on this specific time I was using whiskers inks. Now most people use an ink pad when they're going to do like a some form of ink stamp on it but um, I decided to use this brown um, to make an older look and all I used was a cosmetic sponge very cheap you can buy them at a pound for a bag of cosmetic sponges um, and I just distressed it distressed round a ring sorry round the edges um, and my tags have all been uh, hand lined on hand drawn on the back lined for journaling and a pattern paper on the front and a little handmade tag on the top. Um, normally I try and get the paper to match. So if you've got a scrap bit when you're doing a pocket, um, I use a, a scrap bit for the top and I, you can either staple it on or you can use, um, I've got a little flower punch here. And um, you could do it, punch out two, two of them in your desired paper and glue to the front and back of your tag, just like so, just like that. Makes it easier to pull it out, basically. So it's up to yourself how you want to do it. So on the first page, um, what I've done for the album, this is where your hidden hinge it would attach to it, down this side here. And um, what I've done is I've made my page, if you follow Elsa, just a few designs um, on YouTube, you will see her techniques, but this is my um, interpretation of it to how I've did mine. And what I've did is I've added glued down a little pocket, added a bit of lace, made my tag, as I said, for um, a picture, photo for a photo or for journaling in the back. And that just slots in here. And then it folds out like that, so it becomes two pages. And if you can see, I've added this... Um, Oh, it's quite rough paper, but it's it's different. I've added two um, little flowers that I've inked round the edges and I've inked all down here. So that's the idea is um, it's to make it look quite old. And every page underneath of whatever I've distressed on any of the score lines, etc. as well on there. Um, these little flowers, I've been inked round the edges and you can, and I've just glued down halfway and you could add a pocket in like that for a picture or journaling. And same on the other side. Um, I've did that like that. So, um, and then this bit here, um, in a previous video, um, I was saying that some people had bought a circle punch and they had half punched out that area um, in order so you could see that it put in a tag. Now, at the time when I did that, I didn't have a punch, so I used a two pence piece, um, half of a two pence piece. I just drew out around it and then I cut it out or used a sharp um, cutting knife um, to take that out. And uh, it, then it shows wherever you put your tag, it lets people see. But since then, I have bought um, a little punch, a circle punch um, from Hobbycraft and it actually is on special offer at the minute. Um, two pounds, two fifty, something like that. And um, But these, this one's been done with a two pence piece. So basically it's a pull out tag with some pattern paper and I've inked the back and added lines for journaling. 
So it's your choice, whatever you want to do. And that just slots back in there like that um, on this side. And then it opens like that and it's a fold down card, just glued down the edges, down one end and a little tag. Pop, popped a little tag in like that, handmade um, for a journal, for journaling or photo mat on the front. And the other one, what I saw on Elsa's was she had actually used a punch, a circle punch again and did a halfway punch in there so that you could slot in another tag. But actually I've left mine clear this time and what I've done is I've actually scored a card um, and the, the link around the edges and got to be careful with that normally because I noticed that the card cracked there but I actually quite like it because it makes it look quite old and um, I'm looking for that kind of look off this folder. But um, I've added two butterflies, glued just half of the butterfly and you could add in a tag or a photo on either side, just like that. Just like that, place it in any way you want, like that. And that slots back into this side, just in there. And you could actually add a picture on there or a picture on this side or more journaling. And then on the back page of the first pocket, I've did this type of um, fold, a little tag on the side, and uh, you could, and I've done two tags for a photo mat or journaling, and I've inked the backs of them. So that's page one, and uh, on page two, what I've done is I've started this way with it, with the fold. So it's a folded down part of the page. 12 by 12 on this side and left a little insert for a tag. You can either add a photo or journaling. Again, I've distressed everything all round the edges and in all the grooves of the pages. I've, I've used the brown um, distressed or ink. It's up to yourself. And inside here, what I've done is I've done a little pocket there, just glued down the sides and added a little tag. And it's various different types of paper, which I quite like. And I've hand lined the back and inked it. And then on this side, I've um, did another little pocket with two tags in it. And I've used a lot of lace with these pockets because I love lace. And so another two little tags for a photo mat or for journaling. It's slot and you could actually have a picture on this side. And they just slot in like that. And then this one opens this way. So what I've actually done is just left it plain on both sides, added a little bit of lace and you could add a family pot, a family photo or you could add some journaling. It's entirely up to yourself and that folds in like this and if you turn it over there's another little pocket. So all I've done is glued on a little bit of paper there down these sides, left that bit open and another two tanks there for photo mat or for journaling. So that's page two done there. Um, on page three, I've did this way. Um, that would be your hinge system down there that would be attached to the hidden hinge to your folder or book. And on this one, I've done a little pocket here at the side and that's a little tag for a photo mat or for journaling. Again, I've inked round all the edges or distressed and this one then opens that way. And I've added a little but butterfly on either side, just glued down again half of it at the bottom and you could fit in a photo mat or a picture and same at this side on there photo mat journaling whatever you want there and again cut out well I used a two penny piece half of a two penny piece I drew around it and you could use half a punch cut out that and added in a tag for a photo mat or for journaling it was in there and then this one folds down like that and you could put a picture on both these pages. Again, I've added butterflies and it's up to yourself if you want to add a photo mat there or journaling or a little tag for a photo mat or for journaling that could fit in there. And I've actually glued that page down though this time. And then it fold, opens like that and again, I've done a fold in my paper there I've just glued down these sides you could actually add a little photo in there and I've got a pull out tag here and um, for journaling or for a photo 
Um, if you see behind it there, there's another um, cut with the punch on this one, um, with the circle punch, a half cut, or a two penny piece. So before, before I didn't, as I said, I didn't have the circle punch. So before I glued this page down, I'd actually cut that out. And um, you could either have a tag hidden inside there, but again, um, I decided to use a card and I've scored it in half and for this kind of effect. I've added two flowers, glued them in half. You could pop in a tag or a photo. So same goes on that side on a photo. And on the back I've lined, I've drawn in, hand drawn in lines and I've in, uh, inked it to give it a distressed look. And I've also, if you've noticed, distressed on these lines. Now that bit at the back, you could put a picture or journaling. So that slots back in like that on here. Sometimes it gets a little bit caught, sorry, but that's it there. So that slots in like that <clears throat> and then it folds over like that and basically all I've done is mirrored the front side. So you make your little page and I've glued down these sides, left that bit open for a little tag, a little tag for journaling or photo mat. And then it opens like this side. Again, I've added the little butterflies and you could actually add a photo mat or journaling or a tag for doing both. You could have a photo in here and then the little tag could go on top. So lots of space and places to add things and then Again, a little pull out. So you would use your uh, half circle punch there for a little tag, just like what was done in the front for a photo or for journaling. And that becomes page three on that. And my final page, page four, um, would be like this. Um, that would be gl um, glued to your hidden hinge system. And what I've done is glued down this side added a bit of uh, lace and I've made two tags that slot in for photo mat or for journaling. Inked everything again and around all the edges and this opens up like this. So I've got a little pocket here, uh, a fold down pocket in the triangle shape again and a little tag in there and for a picture or for journaling. Goes slots in there and then this opens up like that. And Basically what I've done is glued down this little pocket and I've added a very similar to the first page that I did, um, similar paper for a photo or for journaling. And that slots in here and I've left these two open. Um, I like the papers on these so I've just added a little bit of lace. You could add a picture or more journaling, more pockets, it's up to yourself. And it closes like that and we'll have tags on the back. So quite similar to what was on the other page. So it's two tags for pictures or for journaling. So basically that's it. That's my four pages. And as you can see, they're quite, it's quite chunky. And you could keep carrying on like that, you know, continuing that all the way through. But um, I personally think that's thick enough. And you could fit a lot of pictures in there. Um, memories and a lot of writing can go into that so thank you for watching i need to attach this to a binder just now um, or at some point and i hope you liked it again thanks to elsa just a few designs um her videos if you get a chance go look her up and watch her videos and um, thanks again for watching we'd just like to say the riggets gig top today is riggets and um, they're a band from a two-piece band from wigan and um, they have a single out called Fort Shoes. If you get the chance, check my YouTube videos for them because I've saw them live um, and they're brilliant. So thanks again. Bye.